Today on Combustion Chamber, we have yet another classic American icon, this beautiful 1969 Chevrolet Impala. And while this is a classic Impala and does ride low, don't call it a low rider. Let's get after it. Welcome back to Combustion Chamber. On today's episode, we've got this stunning 1969 Chevy Impala Resto Mod owned by Jay Ruiz. This thing's got a lot of power, a lot of detail, and a lot of hard work put into it. So let's talk to the owner for more about this beautiful classic. Jay, thank you very much for being on the show today. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. It's an honor. Now, what got you into cars originally? Well, like most car guys, I guess it's in my DNA. My grandfather, my father, they were both car guys, and they would wrench. My dad was like a Renaissance guy. He would paint, he would read, he would write, but he would also wrench. And I was always by his side, so I grew up around it. What kind of power do you have in this car? This car has a 383 stroker. When it first went on the dyno with the initial tune, we were around 400 horsepower, about 428 on the torque. But it's a cruiser. It's not a stoplight to stoplight sort of car. It has a turbo 400 and 308 gears, which are highway gears. When I got the car, one of the attractions to the car was the interior. There were no major rips or tears. The headliner was good. It was dirty. Pretty much I just cleaned it up. I added some gauges, my own gauges, LED lighting, aftermarket stereo, which I placed in the glove compartment. I built a console for gauges and the iPad and things like that. Some people will see a classic Impala like this, and because it rides so low, they automatically say it's a lowrider. But this isn't. Can you tell us the difference between this car and what a lowrider actually is? Sure. And I've had lowriders. I had a 63 and lowrider. Low and what clearly defines a lowrider a lot of people will see the Impala, see it low, and classify it as a lowrider. But lowriders will always have white walls and spoke rims, or white walls and Supremes. Now this car sits very low, but you've modified the suspension to make it an easier to drive cruiser. Can you tell us about that? Sure, and once again, going back to that lowrider aspect, hydraulics is a very bouncy ride, and, and it's, it's really tough on the car. Air ride suspension gives the car a fairly decent ride. And what it does is you replace your springs with airbags. And of course, airbags have been around forever. They use them on tractor trailers and heavy equipment. It just allows me to be able to drive to the show at a comfortable height, avoid any road obstacles, get to the show, park, and then slam it and give it the stance that everybody likes. So why don't you say we get this car on the road? Sure thing. Man, I love driving this car. Well, thank you, man. And I like your car because it's clean, it's nice, and, and I mean this in a positive way. It's simple. It's got some modern yes. stuff on it, but it doesn't beep at me for every little thing I do. You do something some car people don't at car shows. You actually will let kids get in the car and take pictures and things like that, right? Well, yes, I do because, you know, we go to these car shows, and of course there's families there, and a lot of these families have little children, and, you know, these kids are all trying to take it in. And sometimes they'll reach and they'll grab and they'll parents will tell them don't touch, which, you know, is appreciated. But, you know, I'll get up out of my seat, thank them, and then, you know, I said, would you mind? And I'll have the kid sit in the seat and I'll have them play with the air ride. And it just seems like in the trunk, all these kids, especially the boys, no matter what age, they'll say, look, daddy, he's got Nas, he's got Nas. <laughs> so I'll let them purge. And so, you know, it just, they get a big kick out of it. And I want, you know, I want these kids to know and that it's attainable, man. You know, it's, it's, it's a car, and, you know, it's attainable. Don't look at it like it's something that's out of reach or don't touch, and, you know. Yeah. No, I, I don't want that. I don't want that. I could always wipe off a smudge. Yeah. You know, I'd rather see that smile on the kid's face. Or... After 9-11, the police department, New York City Police Department, got together and decided to do a car show. It started off very small. It was for the Widows and Orphans Funds and to benefit you know, families from the 9-11 tragedy. And I think the first show may have started out with a few hundred cars. The last show was probably over 1,000, 2,000 cars. Wow. And it all still goes to the same fun and for the same purpose for the Widows and Orphans Fund. So you're absolutely right. Yeah. Car guys are the first one online to help out, man. Absolutely. Driving this 1969 Chevy Impala was outstanding. This is easily one of the coolest cruisers we've had on our show. And I want to take the time to thank our guest and his wife for coming out today and letting us film this for all of you. What did you think about this Impala? 
What is your favorite Chevy Impala? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and for more Combustion Chamber, hit that subscribe button. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Combustion Chamber. We want to keep Combustion Chamber independent and about you, so please check us out on Patreon. And if you want to see more exclusive content and behind the scenes features, check us out on our social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The link for all of that is below.